going on ladies and gents and welcome back to more Mega Man Battle Network. So if you guys didn't check out the last episode we got lost in the maze that is the net of this game because it was hella confusing but we did manage to sort our way through. We had a battle and encounter with Stone Man so if you guys haven't already make sure you guys go down to the description check out the first episode and the full playlist link down below as well as while you're down there make sure you guys leave a little like if you guys do enjoy the video throughout it and make sure you guys hit subscribe so you're notified of all the goodness that comes from Salt Chica Studios. And if you haven't already, our schedule so far is Mega Man at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is Digimon Cyber Sooth Hacker's Memory. If you guys want to keep up on the simpler way to keep up with all that is you can follow us on Twitter, which is also linked down below. That was one whole minute of self-shameless plugging, so why don't we finish off with also our Instagram link down there as well. Without further ado, let us beat Sal over here because, if I remember correctly, battling Woodman. Maybe he'll get close to me so I can like fire chop him. Okay. Shit. I'm dead. And we've been deleted. Very low reaction time it gives you. You can't tell if it's random or there's actually... It doesn't let you move, I swear. I, oh my goodness. So, a big issue with this boss I'm already finding is that besides the... He's not incredibly difficult. The problem is, though, is that all of his spikes randomly generate how many... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I'm dead. He randomly generates how many he's going to do per attack. So there's no consistency. So you have, have this like, this, I don't know what's going to happen factor. And it's not that that's bad in video games. It's not very good for a very limited area of movement, right? So he does like three here. Then he does three here. Then on his next jump, he could do like, he does like five. Where's the consistency? That's all I'm saying. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Jump at me, boy. See, now it does like four, and now I'm dead. Yep. Barring that I walked into it. I don't... I, I walked right into it. So, later in the Mega Man Battle Network series, I want to battle you. Um, They're more... What's the word I'm looking for? Usually, the yellow panels here just kind of pop up and the attack happens. So, there's very little time to actually react. In the later games, it's more controlled and more precise. Uh, so, using area grab is just... Goodness, let me move when I want to. Thank you. Yeah, so for the most part, area grab is extremely useful when uh, battling these bosses because their attacks are just so sporadic. Yeah, when, there's still something about the game, like, I, I think you can hear me clicking the button for me to move and it's still not moving. Uh, and that's the most of one else. But use Gutsman potentially to like limit his movement. See, you get in situations like that where it's just like, all right, I'm going to, it's really unmovable patterns because it's just, it's pretty sure it's just code RNG, which isn't good. It's completely unfair and should never be in a game. Okay. That almost was my stupidity there. He's like five all of a sudden. Three randomly. I don't know. It's just not very consistent, so it's not very enjoyable. But 
later on when <sighs> I'm dead. Crap. See, I couldn't really escape that last one because, well, I got stuck. Not being able to move properly out of the area. Like, I should have my moving option because it's not, it doesn't give me the real, like, it's me trying to think ahead to move. It's going to do lots of damage because that's fire on grass. Uh, like, I don't mind RNG, like, I don't mind pattern attacks, but you have to allow me to learn the attacks that are coming, right? Like, having those patterns there is viable and usable. You, you can do that and get away with that because that would be fair. You can't just all of a sudden just start whipping out things that don't really fit in with the boss fight, if that makes any sense. Um, but it looks like this might be the run, hopefully. So we should be able to actually just crush him now with a quake. We don't even need roll. There we go. So we'll be able to delete wood, wood man like that. Which is good, we got that nice 2000, and then she also gives me, or I think it's a dude, I'm not really sure. I think it's a chick. But she gives me, uh, her port, and I know we'll need that later on the net, because me getting lost earlier will allow me to find that. That was a pain in the ass, I'll tell you. Alright, so we gotta go meet Dad, and I think we have to go over the Scilab, which is down here. Yeah. The waterworks area. I'm gonna go down south, so yeah. So it's not that it's a hard boss fight. It's just that it's like okay, you you can only you can only move up, up down left and right like forward back up. You know you only move on like plus motion. You can't move on an angle. So when you make it so you have to move on an angle and your attack just kind of comes out, well you're kind of screwed. I mean, there we go. Now we're up here. I think Dad's lab is also up here. And... And it's jacking. So it doesn't look like Dad's actually here, unfortunately. So we'll have to just kind of leave a message, if you will. Ooh, this area looks cool. Here, take a program. I right, leave a message, give this to him. Okay. Perfect. Let's see if there's anything around here, though. We can kind of, like, rummage. Oh, we got the at dad. Perfect. Ooh, what's this? The virus machine you can use for training. Oh! Nice! I didn't even know this was a thing. Guess where I'm going to spending most of my time off screen. Hopefully Higsby's will be open up soon, and I can't wait to go do that. Because uh, I have so many chips we're going to trade in. We're just going to get all the battle chips. I hate everything. Perfect timing. Nice, got another little bomb. This year we can just essentially hoard... Out, uh... Nice. I mean, actually, yeah. This is pretty awesome. Zenny. Nice. Three flame swords. That's not bad. We have a lot of flame swords. It's not hard to obtain good battle chips in this game, which is kind of like the good thing. It's just like the enemies also like spike a lot. So if for non-experienced players or people who have no real idea about this game, it's a very difficult game to approach, especially if you're not playing them in order, because then you get too accustomed to all the nice things that the other games give you, like quality of life updates, and it's just not even... Do another one. Get free stuff. Free stuff is great. Perfect. We even get a time bomb too. Winnable. What? Didn't go off? Nani? The 
apparently there's two terms of charging, which is kind of like the original Mega Man games for the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, for like the PS2 and whatnot. Oh, I went right through them! That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Oh. Why is my leg vibrating? Ah. <sighs> Uh, I don't know why I keep doing these. These are too much fun. They're, like, really easy to level up on. I'll do one more. I'll do this one, then I'll, like, get out of here. Nice and triple delete. So I'm definitely gonna come back here and actually use that thing, in all honesty, because battleships are hella useful. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's save, because now... Save complete. Want to head home? Absolutely. Let us head home. Got some good virus busting. A little speed up button for a little training here and there. And a little burst here and there. Just gotta go a little faster. Gotta go a little faster. So I kind of want to go. I haven't done this on my other game yet, on my phone. So I want to go exploring a little bit. Land, you've got mail. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. So we got the power-up and the... Oh, apparently we got a... Okay, so this was from earlier. Um, so actually, we got the power-up anyways, which is nice. So let's give it into... Give it into rapid right now. And then we're at 200 HP now, which is great. I think... He's ready to battle again? Nope. Okay. So I know we should head home. But I want to kind of go through that maze again and use Sal's little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Sal's key to enter that new area, because I'm really intrigued on what's over there, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, and we got a sonic wave, so we can place the shock waves with that. Slowly but surely. Still can't access that. Go on through. I think, it, okay, so if I remember correctly, it's down, right, up. I think I go up and all the way over, if I'm not mistaken, this time. I hate those fire tower guys. They're just the ones, viruses that always try to, like, avoid you. And then they attack you with, like, strange diagonal patterns, and I don't like it. Alright, so that's the WWW pin. <sighs> do, do I have a wide sword I can replace? Anything with long sword, low bomb, cross gun. Span the repertoire of some decent battle chips. I think it's up here, up. Can I just keep going up? Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then over here, perfect. Now we're in the other area of the internet, which is good, I guess. Hopefully this isn't as confusing as the other area. Okay, so nothing too nutty, if you will, for hostile-wise. I should be able to take these guys out still. Triple delete! That works! It's delicious! It's good! It's good! It's good! It's so good! Oh, are you... And we got a shockwave P. Perfect, net merchant. Whoa, oh, there's wood armor. <sighs> I'm trying to think of the upcoming bosses. Because I've played all this on the, my phone emulation, so I'm familiar about this. I know up to... I don't think there's another fire nav. Okay, well, there are fire viruses, though, so maybe not. So there's a mega cannon on sale. But I... Uh, R for description. 
Doubles defense, ineffective versus fire attacks. Gotcha. Nice big cannon. So there we go. So that's fine. So we got some more health now, which is neat. Good. Very good. We're just gonna keep exploring over here. Uh, just so I can maybe learn the till the oh shit, you're new. I don't like you. Oh, he fires in a plus formation? You little bugger. Okay, I need to take him out first. God, they do so much damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh! Oh, that's a ghost boss fight thing. Okay. Shiznits. Okay, okay. Not bad too so far. Oh no. Alright, we're just gonna add battle chips, that's fine. Perfect. I can only take the area extend, which is fine. Steel, need you. Keep lighting him up. The damage, just keep lighting him up. Just feed into him. Hyper Beam! There we go. Yes! Surprise boss Oh! Stone Man S! That's a new battle chip. Drops 3x on 3 stones on the enemy field. It's 100 damage! Nice! I think I'm gonna get rid of the Quake slowly now. Time to slowly phase that shit out. Even though, like, the other battleships we have, like, it, they might be stronger, they're just not as viable, if that makes any sense. Meta, super meta tools, stone man time. What exactly do you do? It's RNG? Oh, that is... Bullshit! Oh, I'm gonna get absolutely freaking destroyed. Got them both. We're now back in a winnable position. Touch me. Oh, that was annoying. All right, so note to self, Stone Man Battleship kind of sucks. RNG is bullshit. Are we actually literally just versing the same set of viruses now? I... Would be the other guy that goes first? Still confused on how much how that thing actually scales in damage. Shit. Come here. Come on. Come on. God. 
It's like he's so delayed to actually move. But once he does start moving, he's a fast boy. What's this? So this is actually kind of like the end of the net. Okay, that's weird. Jack out then. I don't think the card shop is open. And nope. So it looks like we're just going to get head on home. Well, I'm going to turn in for today. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Mega Man Battle Network. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't so you can keep up with all the latest and greatest that we got coming here at Solid Trigger Studios. Once again, we got Meta Mega Man Battle Network going on. We have uh, Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke going up at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we have Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hackers Memory at 6 p.m. around your dinner time. So, if you guys enjoyed, once again, you guys know what to do. Twitter and Instagram is also linked down below. And we'll see you next episode.